I get wood for my projects from all different places. This one I didn't expect. Here you go. This one came from Brian. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools. So apparently the story is Brian was at a party and some gentleman walked up to him and said, Hey, you like wood? And gave him this. This is like 10 years ago. So even Brian knew that this was one ugly piece of wood and I don't know what we can do from it. Well, that gave me some inspiration because I just got back from SWAT, which is the Southwest Association of Turners in Texas. It's an amazing symposium and I thought, well, I'll ask them for some ideas and believe me, they had lots and lots and lots and lots of ideas. Some of them started with wishing well, champagne fluted capture ring. Not quite there, but nice try. Resin cast it and make a box. Bud vase. I like this one, fire starters, make it into kindling, burn it, <laughs> that was pretty good. Coasters, coffee scoop, we just did a coffee scoop, pillar, candle, mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom started to hit. That came up three different times, along with dinosaur egg, but I don't have the time or the skills to do a dinosaur egg, we'll do that later. And I'm going to keep some of these ideas and we're going to do those later too. But we're going to go with a mushroom. I think this will be a nice, ugly mushroom. You are such an ugly piece of wood, aren't you? <laughs> okay, I'm mounting this between centers, and I'm actually going straight on the pith, the growth rings in the center. I've already tested it once, so I want to see if it goes right there. That's good. So, I'm going to crank that on there. This is going to be the top of the mushroom. This will be the bottom of the mushroom. We'll wind up a little holes in there, but I'll sand those off later. That looks pretty good. So I just want to start whittling away and getting rid of some of the wood to start revealing the shape. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors, Robust Lays and Easy Wood Tools, because without their help and support, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be doing these videos. None of us would be having any fun, right? And also, by the way, I am a Robust dealer, so if you're looking for a new lathe, give me a call. <laughs> that was creepy. Anyway, let's get to turning. So I'm going to take a square carbide and just do some roughing out. Like I said, this is the top, this is the bottom. I've already turned it by hand, nothing's hitting. Speed is low. Turn the lathe on. It's too low. Let's go a little faster. Standing off to the side. If anything flies out, I don't want to be in the way. There we go. That's pretty good. We're just going to gently nibble this away. We don't want to take a lot of wood at once. If you're too aggressive, you can pop the wood off. I never did mention it. This is cedar, by the way. Oklahoma's fire starter. So when people were suggesting burning it, they weren't kidding. These things blow up in a heartbeat. But it is cutting beautifully. This wood has been dried for 10 years at least. Oh. Can you smell that, Brian? That's that cedar smell that you want to put inside your sock drawers and stuff. That's what makes turning cedar fun. So we're starting to get our shape, and this is cool. I want to leave this natural edge all the way around. I think that's going to be the neatest thing. But there's that cool cedar color. So I just want to scoop this out. I want this to be able to stand on its own. You might be able to hear in the background, too, we have the uh, air uh, cleaner blowing like crazy because it is dusty. <laughs> but let's start shaping this. I'm going to use a round carbide cutter to help me get the swoops. You could use a spindle gouge. You could use a bowl gouge at this point. But with this much overhang, I feel a little more comfortable with the carbide cutter because 
it seems to eat away at this a little bit better and a little smoother. Need be, I'll go to a negative rake and then it'll be even less aggressive. So we're now kind of at a critical point. We're making that curve up underneath the mushroom and I've switched to my robust, it's about a four inch tool rest. These are super handy for getting in tight spaces. And I've also switched to a negative rake scraper on the easy wood. So this is very gentle cut, it's not aggressive. Because when you get into this intersection here, this is where you'll get into trouble. Use a spindle gouge or a bowl gouge, you're gonna get a catch for sure. If you use the easy wood without the negative rake, it'll be a little too aggressive at this point. You can see how this allows me just to gently go in there and shape this intersection. This is something I always had trouble with over the years. This makes life a lot easier, having the right length tool rest and having the right cutter to make this cut. So we got this done the way I wanted it, and I'm looking at the top here, and this is so cool because the top angle's down. But if I leave this in this position and start cutting away at the top, it's gonna be flat across the top. Well, that's not any fun. So I'm gonna take this and just slowly move, slowly, gently move this off about a half inch, maybe off center. So now this is wobbly. The top almost looks flat, but when I cut the top, the top's gonna have a bit of an angle on it like like that when I'm done, or like that, depending on how you turn it. So, we're gonna just gently move in here. We're gonna grab our straight carbide again. Make sure we're at the right height. I'm gonna lower this just a bit. It's a little thicker tool. Nothing's gonna hit. And if I'm lucky, I don't think it's gonna happen, but I'd like to preserve this. I think it's gonna go away. That would be really kinda cool to keep. Here we go. So we got our curve. I had to leave that thick because we got a hole in there from the live drive center. But anyway, I'm looking at this rough edge and that's pretty cool, but it doesn't feel exactly like a mushroom. So we were talking about off camera, I just started doing a test here to round this edge a bit and to round it from this side. We'll get round on some parts and we'll get rough on other parts and I hope that works. We'll have to use our negative rake scraper to do that because it's really delicate work. So I'm kind of happy with my shape now. I actually mounted it off center one more time so I could get into this side and round that edge a bit and make this thinner so it's more uniform all the way. All I have to do now is I want to nibble this down a bit. I'm going to do the same on this end and then we're going to sand the top and the bottom. I'll also try to make up our mind whether or not we want to put a finish on this thing. Okay, get the fun music ready for <laughs> Woodturner's porn. Oh my, look at how the heartwood of that cedar pops out. We were discussing whether or not to do the top on this, and so we'll do the bottom first and see what it looks like as a contrast. Like that. But I think the cedar looks so pretty with a finish on it. Oops, get that whole thing there. That. 
Yeah, I think I want to do the top. It could be an artist piece if I didn't. <laughs> but I think it's going to look too good. Let's keep applying a little bit more on here. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, look at the spalting that's in this. This was an old, crusty piece of wood laying around for quite a long time. Brian, you're going to have to thank your friend for giving us such a good project. <laughs> So let me get the rest of this on these edges here. I'm using uh, Danish oil, so it just soaks in really good. You want to saturate it since this thing is so old and so dry from being in the garage for 10 years. <laughs> Wonder what else you got hiding in your garage. Who knows? <laughs> oh, well, there we go. That is how you make an ugly wood mushroom. That is really cool. Never know what you're going to find inside. Well, until the next time on Wood Turning, keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools.